What's up and welcome to another episode of It's Tipped Up Fishing. My name is Keaton Ditchfield and today we're going to do a full review of the Deeper Chur Plus 2. That's this guy right over here. Now before I start, if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing for reviews, top tips and fishing adventures. And I want to say a big thank you to my patrons for all your support that you guys are giving me so far. You make videos like this possible. Now the Deeper Chip Plus 2. This little guy was sent to me by Deeper to do an honest review and there's also an affiliate link uh, in the description if you want to buy it. It costs you nothing extra but a small percentage goes to Tip Top Fishing and it helps Tip Top Fishing. There's also a 10% discount code for all other Deeper products that is also in the description. Here we go. Now when you open the box you get a Deeper Chip Plus 2, you get two casting mounts, a nightcap which allows the internal light to shine through at night and so you can use the Deeper at night. Then you get a neoprene holding bag, a micro USB cable to charge it and a three months free subscription to Fish Deeper Premium membership which is, uh, it just gives you access to 50,000 bathymetric maps worldwide. It also comes with a five year warranty. Now the specs. The Deeper Chirp Plus 2, it's made of an ABS plastic with titanium inserts. Its diameter is 6.5 centimeters or 2.5 inches. It weighs 92 grams or 32 ounces. It turns on using a water detecting conductors. The name Deeper Chirp Plus 2 stands for Deeper is a castable fish finder. Chirp is the type of sonar it uses, more on that later. Plus stands for the built-in GPS and 2 is the second generation. So, this little beast can connect to your smartphone using Wi-Fi and has a maximum connection range of 100 meters. So you can cast it 100 meters or 333 feet. It connects to your phone with the Fish Deeper app. I really dig the app which has got plenty of options and is pretty simple to use. Before we get into the app, let's quickly chat about Chirp technology, briefly. Chirp Sonar is different to regular Sonar. If you want to find out more about difference, the differences between a Chirp Sonar and regular Sonar, check out my Deeper Chirp 1 full review in the description. To quickly summarize, the normal Sonar sends out one short ping in a single frequency and Chirp Sonar, which stands for Compressed High Intensity Radiated Pulse, it sends out a varied frequency, longer duration ping. So normal Sonar, ping, ping, ping. Chirp Sonar, pew, pew, pew. The benefits of CHIRP is that the sonar penetrates the water better and sends back more information with uh, a better target separation. Deeper CHIRP Plus 2 can differentiate between two targets down to one centimeter apart. So instead of just seeing a ball of noise, you can distinguish the differences between individual branches or individual fish. It's pretty cool. So getting into the app, let's get into some of the features. From the top, of the options, we have different modes. DP or standard mode, which just uses the sonar and turns off the GPS. Onshore GPS mode for when you're on the bank and casting. Um, when you're using it in this setting, the Deeper Chirp Plus uses the GPS Chirp Sonar, sonar together uh, with the GPS where the, it makes a bathymetric map for you as you are casting and using it. It's, it's very useful and you can go back into the history and check it out. It saves it onto your phone automatically. When you return to the bank uh, later on, you can go check it out and you can see what the deeper has picked up and you don't have to cast in the deeper again, which is pretty cool. Then we have the boat mode for when you're using the deeper on a boat or a kayak. Uh, then you have the ice fishing mode, which none of us use in South Africa. Under the modes, we have raw or basic view, which shows you a bare minimum or shows you all of the information that the deeper sees. I prefer raw. 
Uh, then you have the vertical flasher, which helps you see the intensity of the signal. Then we have the three beam angles. So you have your wide, which uh, scans at 47 degrees for searching large areas at once. Then you have your medium, which is in between your narrow and your, and your wide. Then you've got narrow, which is seven degrees. So medium is 20, narrow is seven degrees. This really helps um, pinpoint where you want to put your bait. Um, it, it scans a very, very small area and you can decide where you want to put your bait. And what's nice is when you send your lead down, you can watch it go underneath your deeper and you can make sure your rig is on a flat surface and not in a weed. Or you can put it in the weed if you want to and if that's what you want to do. Then we have the shallow water scanning switch. So basically what it does is if you're scanning a wide area, as you get to shallow water, it automatically switches to the narrow beam so that you can see exactly what's underneath it. Uh, speaking of scanning depth, the Deeperture Plus can scan up to 100 meters depth and um, as shallow as 15 centimeters. Moving on, we have the sensitivity, which allows you to pull as much information out of the image as possible or lower the sensitivity to get unwanted clutter out of the image. Then the deeper uh, has fish icons, which you can check the size of the fishes and you can change the size of the fishes that you want alarms for. I, th I think the setting helps newer members uh, see what a fish looks like, but can be misleading. I prefer to turn off the fish icons. Then it has the fish alarm, which uh, beeps whenever you pick up a fish um, under the deeper. It's, it's useful when you're not really paying attention and you want to find the fish, but if you are normally watching it, it's quite annoying because it pings all the time. Then we have our color palette, which depends on your preference and how bright the sun is on the screen. So uh, the screen also display, uh, displays the battery percentage of your phone and the deeper, um, the mode, the water surface temperature and the depth. The battery life of the Deeper Chirp Plus 2 is the biggest improvement when compared to the Deeper Chirp 1. Um, the one's battery life lasts for about six and a half hours, but the plus two. So how is the deeper chirp plus to use? Let's send it to that guy over there. So it is a consistently good product in my opinion. I've used deepers for years since the deeper pro plus came out. Um, this is the first time like There'd been a GPS and a, a sonar device that you can cast ever. And I loved my Pro Plus. Then I loved the, the Chirp Plus even more. It, it uh, connected faster. It showed more detail. The target separation was great. Um, and then now the Deeper Chirp Plus 2. And in my opinion, the Deeper Chirp Plus 2 is just a little bit better than the Chirp 1. Why is that? Well, firstly, the obvious thing is the battery life. It's almost, well, not almost, it's actually more than double the battery life. So the deeper Chirp 1, which is that guy over here, um, this guy lasts for six and a half hours uh, from a full charge and charges, I think it's one, one hour and 45 minutes. And then the deeper Chirp Plus 2, takes two hours to fully charge, but then you've got 15 hours of battery life. It depends on what you guys prefer and what you want to use. Um, also, another thing to remember is that you've also got to have to consider your battery of your phone because you've got two batteries in the system, one on your deeper and one on your phone. So, is does the Chirp Plus 2 uh, qualify? Does it meet my happy standards? Is it worth the money? In my opinion, yes. Um, in terms of if you've already got a deeper Pro Plus or a deeper Chirp Plus, is it worth upgrading? Um, in my opinion, mm, in terms of the Pro Plus, yes, it's definitely worth up upgrading. It is a much better product. Uh, the deeper Chirp Plus 2 is a much better product than the Pro Plus. Um, is it worth upgrading if you've got the Chirp Plus 1 um, to upgrade to the Chirp Plus 2? Um, in my opinion, no. Um, the Chirp Plus One is a fantastic product. I could really not really fault it that much. It's a fantastic product. Um, but if you're getting your first deeper and want to get into the deeper game, I definitely get the deeper Chirp Plus Two, just because the battery life is that much better and it connects 
a little bit faster than the, the Chirp Plus One. So quickly about the negatives, um, it comes with a nightcap, but I wish instead it came with the phone holder mount. The phone holder mount to me is much more useful. Um, it holds your phone on the rod and never lets go. I've cast that thing like crazy and my phone has never come off. That is a fantastic product. But the, the nightcap is cool. I put it on um, and then leave it on. It fits on the Deeper Chirp Plus One as well um, and works at night, but I've, I like it because it, it makes it more visible on the dams, but it's not that necessary for me. Um, other negatives is I kind of wish they changed the shape of the sky. If you guys have seen like a, um, a what's it called, a distance lead, I wish the deeper was a distance lead shape. Why? Because it'll cast further, it'll track better in the water when it's coming back, because it sometimes, it sometimes wobbles like this. And if you're gonna reel back fast, it's not gonna do that whole thing that it does. When you reel in fast, it like kinda goes under the water and reels back erratically. If it was the shape of a distance lead, you would not only, only cast better further, and it would also track better in the water on the way back. Um, but it is not as versatile if you're gonna use it off bridges, but I don't know how many people who use these things off bridges. Deeper, if you're listening, think of the distance lead shape. Cool. So if you want to buy a Deeper Chirp Plus 2, please consider buying it through the affiliate link at the bottom. This doesn't cost you anything extra, but a small percentage comes to support. Tip Top Fishing helps me make better videos for you guys. And if you want a 10% uh, discount on all other Deeper products, so like the Deeper Chirp uh, Plus 1, make sure to go to the discount uh, code in the description below. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, tight lines, guys. Mm -hmm.